This is the Himalaya, which literally means abode of snow. It's the last frontier, the king of all mountains. Here, species have thrived and gone extinct, civilizations came and then destroyed, but the mountains, they have seen it all. Lights out, it's a cold Sunday morning. My name is Rohan, and the mountains, my home. I believe that before one takes a step outside into the parts unknown, one must truly understand where he belongs. This is my winter, a winter where I explore and film my own backyard through travel, adventure, music, practically anything that can slow time down for me. You can call this my quest for redemption, my path to inspiration, a test of spirituality, a way to become a young fool again. Because this is my way back home. So here we are at uh, the entrance of uh, Tabo Monastery in Tabo and uh, I've only seen pictures of this monastery before and it looks spectacular in them, you know, but it is definitely the most popular monastery in all of Spiti. The Tabo Monastery is over a thousand years old and is recognized for being the oldest continuously operating Buddhist monastery in all of the Himalayas. It is considered to be one of the holiest Buddhist sites in the world, so much so that even His Holiness the Dalai Lama has expressed his desire to retire to Tabo. Uh, so it's not even half an hour since we entered and uh, it has started to snow. And it's my favorite kind of snow. I call it the Russian snow because it's just small little particles just flying around, flying around. They're not really falling, you know, they're just flying around in the wind. And the trippy part is the sun is out. So we have the sun and we have the snow and we have the Tower Monastery. This monastery is of singular importance because of the unique beauty of its art and the historical role it has played in the transmission of Indo-Tibetan Buddhist culture. I kid you not, we went to just crazy lengths just to get permission to actually shoot inside this monastery because we have seen a lot of monasteries around and when I saw this one there is nothing there is nothing in all of Spiti like it but unfortunately we are not allowed to shoot inside but I will show it to you from the outside because it is as beautiful from the outside as it is from the inside Tabo is said to have been built by Rinchen Zangpo under the patronage of King Yeshe Ong in 996 AD. Rinchen Zangpo is also known as the Great Translator, as he is responsible for translating a large number of Buddhist texts from Sanskrit to Bhoti or Tibetan. Today, Tibetan Buddhism as we know it exists largely because of the work done by Rinchen Zangpo. But it was because of his translations that Buddhism was reborn in Tibet and is still thriving till today. It actually basically has nine temples in it and it's got a big assembly hall and within, within the assembly hall there are just some really really fascinating statues really old the paint is still there I've never seen statues like that anywhere in any other monastery Apart from the nine temples, this monastery also has many chortens or stupas. These chortens are scattered all around in different shapes and sizes and almost look like small little Egyptian pyramids. The stupas could contain just about anything from belongings of a great lama to ancient relics, gold, silver and thanka paintings. 
Some of them may even house the bodies of great Buddhist masters. But what is even more interesting is the striking resemblance these Chortens have to the landscape of Spiti Valley. They almost look like they emerged right out of the mud on which they stand. It is very rare to see something that is more than a thousand years old in such pristine condition. Thabo has truly withstood the test of time and I feel that it is one of the greatest wonders of India. Driving in the mountains is an exhilarating experience. But if you are planning on getting your car here, there are a few things you have to keep in mind. Firstly, this is not the city. So don't drive like you're in one. It is very easy to get mesmerized by your surroundings and lose concentration. These areas are prone to landslides and that's why you constantly need to be on the lookout for shooting stones. Driving here is not an impossible task, as long as we follow the rules, but more importantly, respect them. So we've been in Spiti for almost about 10 days now, you know, and I just wanted to give you an idea of what the weather like weather is like over here. It is so impermanent, you know. Right now there was sunshine and now there is the Russian snow <laughs> again. And the best part is I've never seen snow fall like horizontally, you know, because the winds are really high and the snow is really light, you know, it's not got that much moisture in it. You know, there have been like almost about three to four days here in Spiti where we haven't been able to do anything just because the weather turns bad that quick. The snap should have come before actually. <laughs> Today, one of our contacts in Lari asked us to come down to Lari. Lari is a village uh, just about four kilometers away from Thabo. It's at the south end of Spiti. And uh, he said there's something interesting going on in his village. Uh, we had to walk up about uh, two kilometers through a nice, beautiful uh, gorge along a stream. And uh, we reached this place, and it's an abandoned village. And what's happening is there is actually a monk who is been in meditation and uh, there are women from the village who keep taking him supplies from time to time you know just basic food so yeah this is something completely uh, spontaneous for us you know somebody just called us and I have no idea what's happening up there Every year, the women of Lari make a trip to this monastery, which is considered to be as old as Dabo. Not only do they bring supplies for the monastery and the old monk, but also to ask for a very special wish. आपको इस जगह के बारे में क्या अच्छा लगता है कि आप 20 साल रह गए हो 
मेरे केले रहते हैं ना कहाँ भी चले मेरे केले रहने को बहुत अच्छा लगता है अच्छा है कोई गांव में ज़्यादा ज़्यादा आदमी साथ बिना नहीं अच्छा नहीं लगता मेरे केले बिना नहीं तो अच्छा लगता आपका दिन कैसे गुजरता है नहीं 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 मैं पूजा करता हूँ पूजा पूजा पार पूजा पूजा पार करता हूँ ना दिन ने दिन कैसे चलता है कैसे चलता है पता नहीं लगता है अच्छा जी बड़ी आपको रेडियो सुनने का शौक है हाँ रेडियो सुनने के बाद लाने के समय तिब्बत सब समाचार सुनता है तिब्बत का समाचार अच्छा ये खाना पीना सामान सामान सारे गांव वाले देता है अच्छा गांव वाले आपको जरूरत नहीं है पैसे की जरूरत कोई नहीं कोई जरूरत नहीं ऐसे कितने साल हो गए ऐसे हो गए हाँ बीस साल हो गए ये आगे हो गए हो गए ना so just to eat and sleep and do his business that's when he you know takes a break otherwise twenty four seven he's meditating One of the most interesting things about today is, is the food, is the lunch. You know. uh, it's basically like a picnic session for all the women to come together, obviously ask, you know, a wish in the monastery, which is uh, sure to be granted. And then after that, they're going to have a picnic. All different tastes, all different styles of cooking, you know, into one big walk. So it's pretty much like a ladies' day out today. I'm the only man. I'm feeling a little uh, left out. Earlier, the young girls showed us how to do the young style, new age dancing. Okay, and now uh, the old uh, women are going to show us the traditional thousands of year old dance. Uh, so this morning we decided to uh, come to this village called uh, Langza which is actually the second highest village in Spiti. The highest being Komik which is about 10 kilometers ahead of this. Unfortunately the roads are shut over there and uh, we can't go but uh, well second highest will do for us. Uh, but the road up here is pretty tricky. It's uh, There's a lot of muck here you know especially during the day it gets really muddy and mucky and the trick is to start really early in the morning when everything is frozen, you know. And uh, then even a small car like ours, there's no problem. You know, when you climb up this high, you know, over 14,500 feet, you would you, you think that, you know, there's just peaks everywhere, but Langsa is actually situated in this beautiful, beautiful plateau, you know, it's just flat land everywhere. Uh, the upper belt of Spiti is pretty much flat everywhere. And uh, it's absolutely amazing to be here. Man, this feels good. That sound, it's a cold Sunday morning.
I've been traveling around these mountains for almost about three months now, looking and experiencing just about everything that the people, nature, and even the gods have to offer. But when I stepped into this village, to be quite honest, I had nothing to say about it. This is Langza, which literally means the village of gods. I mean, look around. This is another world. Honestly, if I could, I would give up everything just to live in Langza for the rest of my life. But I'm not sure if I'm worthy enough. To be born here is nothing short of a gift from the gods. I guess this is what heaven would feel like. हमारा गांव जैसे कि आपको पता है कि ये लांगजा लांगजा का मेन इसका अर्थ है जी ये गॉड विलेज यानी कि देवी का गांव है इस साल तो सर्दी में बहुत ज़्यादा बर्फ़ पड़ा जी आज इस साल के बराबर तो अभी तक मैंने अपने जीवन में नहीं देखा है और इस साल बहुत सारी बर्फ़ है मैंने खास कर यानी कि फरवरी महीने में तो टोटल महीने में हर दिन यानी कि बर्फ़ ही देखे हमें काफ़ी साल हो गए और यहाँ स्पीति में बर्फ़ पड़ा ही नहीं और खेती बाड़ी भी सूख रहे हैं अब लाइट का भी प्रॉब्लम थे रोड की प्रॉब्लम थे लेकिन फिर भी बर्फ़ की वजह से थोड़ा खुश हो गए लोग कि इस साल अच्छे फसल आने की संभावना है यहाँ पे सब कुछ फैसिलिटी है गांव में थोड़ा लाइट भी आ रहे हैं और फोन का भी व्यवस्था है और कृषि करने के लिए ज़मीन भी है जी और गाँव काफ़ी सुंदर है और देवी देवताओं का गाँव है और मैं इस गाँव को छोड़ कहीं और जाने का उसमें नहीं है मुर्दी So here we are uh, in a traditional Spithian house. And the first thing I, I noticed when I came into the house, when I saw, I met these kids, like what they had in their hands, and they were playing with these things. And they're actually fossils. Langza is very famous for gathering fossils. To be quite honest, I don't really know much about fossils, but uh, some of them can fetch a lot of money, I guess. I think. This is the past time for the kids over here. They just collect them, play with them. They're just toys for them. Hey ma, ab kahan lekar ja rahe hain humko? Khet mein. Khet mein? Haan. Chale? Chale. Tum aage aage chalo. Main main piche piche aata hu. Chalo. Humko to dikhai nahi de raha. तेरे को कैसे दिखाई देते मैं हर जगह में जाता हूँ इसलिए पाँच मिनट में तुमने ऐसे दो ढूंढ लिए आपको कैसे दिख जाता है मेरे को तो ऐसे बस दिख जाता है फर्स्ट पॉसिबल इट लुक्स लाइक एन इम्प्रिंट ऑफ सम सॉर्ट ऑफ अ प्लांट एक बड़ा वाला Holy. Look at this. It almost feels like the plant itself is there, but when you touch it, it's, it's actually rock. But the texture, the color, you can see the color is there. So, in about uh, half an hour, we have found a bag full of fossils. Good job. Our mission is over and successful. High five. We've been visiting a lot of uh, monasteries all around uh, Spiti and you know other places in Himachal, but uh, this particular place is not actually a monastery. It's something called a lang. In a lang, basically, you don't have monks. You have people that are more into uh, tantric traditions. You know, more mystical things and uh, uh, with spirits and uh, gods and goddesses and. you know so for me it's very new to actually see a temple that's actually dedicated to that this temple houses three major deities pekar semer and kasong it is believed that pekar and semer are capable of curing things like addiction possession by evil spirits and curses while kasong is more like a herbal doctor who treats minor illnesses Once a month a ceremony is held in which the tantric known as a la induces a trance within the gur or the medium 
which allows the deities to communicate to the people through the Gur. In simple words, the deities speak through this man. There are things in this world that we understand and there are things that we don't. After numerous failed attempts, plans cancelled because of landslides, snowstorms and so on, I made it to Lungs on that particular day. It was almost as if the universe had come together to make sure that I was there at that time. I don't know if it's my good luck or just destiny. I guess some things are best left unexplained. I'm as spellbound right now as I was when I first arrived in Spiti. Words are not enough to express the magnitude, the spirit, the grandeur, the magic that one feels in every mountain, every town, every stream, every rock, in every little particle that comes together to make this place what it is. Yeah.